I love the conservatory, it's great. Hang on, hang on, who's that? Hello? I think there's some... Somebody's talking. Yeah, what do you want? And, oh, they've come, they've come to say hello, Warwick. Hello? Hello? Yeah? Do you know a John? John? No. No, you don't know John? You don't know any Johns? No. OK, right, well, that's... that's everyone knows a John. Right, do you know a, a Jonathan? Jonathan? No? You don't know any Johns at all? Right, that's mad. That's never happened before, right? Any any Js? Any, any, anyone beginning with J? Anyone whose name starts with J? Jack? Jack. Is it Jack? Is it Jack? Is it Joseph? Joseph? Do you know Joseph? You know anyone whose name starts with J at all? Anyone's name? No, that's ridiculous. OK, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, Dave. Someone called Dave. You know Dave? You know David? Dave? No. You don't know anyone? You're telling me you don't know anyone called David? Well, I've heard of famous people called David. Yeah, well, say yes then. Say yes. Name a famous David. David Bowie. David Bowie? Yeah. Great. Well, it's not him, is it? Because he's not dead. Right, name any other David. Another David. No, another name. Simon. 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 Stuart. Yeah, um, there was uh, a bloke who lived on yes. the same street as my mum and dad, yes. right, who died. His name right. was Stuart. How old was he again? About 60. 60, yeah, that's him. Bang on. 60-year-old Stuart. He's looking down on you and he's saying, Hello, Warwick. Well done. You're doing really well. You're doing great. What was Stuart's surname? Doesn't matter. Can you ask him? No, I'm not going to go around asking people the surname. Why not? Well, because it's rude. Can you not just accept who he is? It's definitely him. In fact, actually, hang on, what? Yeah, he's confirming it, so it's definitely him. Brian's got the gift. I mean, you saw in that reading how the first name he got was an old guy I knew called Stuart. Now, I don't remember him very well, so he couldn't be making it up. Right, Stuart says you're worried about something. Is that true? Yeah. What are you worried about? Or does Stuart not know? Oh, for Warwick, can you not just... I'm sorry, Stuart. No, I'm asking him, Stuart, but Warwick's been a little... Can you just say what you're worried about? What are you worried about? I'm worried about my tax bill. Yes, exactly. That's what Stuart thought. <sighs> Stuart's saying, don't worry about it. Will I pay off my tax bill? Obviously? Yeah, of course you will. It's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> he knows that, and he's having a laugh, and he's saying, you can't take it with you. What, I can't take the money with me or can't take the debt with me? Ah, oh, he's saying don't worry about it, Warwick. OK, what part of don't worry about it do you not understand? OK, well, can I just ask one more thing? Should I declare myself bankrupt? Right, he's saying, oh, my, you're fucking accountant. OK. £60, pounds, please. I'm wondering whether I should explore a more formal religion. I hear a lot of people talking about having a relationship with God. Warwick can choose any god he likes, and when he's chosen a god he's happy with, I'll look after him while he's alive, and the god will take over when he's dead. It's teamwork. And I've worked with loads of gods in the past, you know, the main ones, smaller ones. Uh, I've worked with gods I've never even bloody heard of. Good luck to them. I will not work with the devil. OK, that's the line I draw. The furthest I go is a white witch. Very happy to work with a white witch. And that's not a racial term. Yeah, by white, which I mean good witch. I don't mean white, good, black, bad, you know, because I love black men, people. I love black people. Goodbye, Warwick. Bye. Oh, Warwick, can I tell you this? I see you being very happy very soon. Yeah? yeah. Someone new is going to come into your life. Your wife's gone, she's out of the picture. Right? So you've got to get back on the saddle. You deserve to be one heart. Oi, sailor boy, come on. You deserve. Yes, in. Don't cheek. You deserve to be one half of a whole, and right now, you're just a little half. You will meet someone... Oi! I'm talking! You will meet someone if you go out and try to meet people. Do you see? Yeah? Interesting. Very interesting. Very astute. You know, what Brian's saying is, is that I have to be proactive, like I'm in business. In business, I'm out there hustling. So why am I just sitting back thinking my next lover's going to walk through the door? I've got to get out there. You have to be in it to win it. <laughs>